Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 canceled games you can play right now. <laughs> For this list, we'll be going over the games that were not released when they were originally intended, whether because they were unfinished, canceled, or whatever. If there's a game that got brought back from the dead you wish we'd brought on our list, tell us in the comments. Number 10, Sunman. Developed by Sunsoft and intended for release in 1992, Sunman began its development as a Superman game, in the vein of Sunsoft's Batman titles. However, the developers eventually switched to an original character. Although nearly completed, Sunman never saw a wide release. We're guessing that an original knockoff version of The Man of Steel wasn't anticipated to sell well. Still, this side-scrolling action game is pretty fun, allowing free flight and featuring plenty of bad guys to beat up. Versions of it are available online, including a version that restores the original Superman appearance and theme. Number 9, Die Hard 64. been a surprising number of die-hard video games, but one of them was never welcome to the party pals. Developed by Bit Studio for the Nintendo 64, Die Hard 64 began its life as an original property in the style of GoldenEye 007. However, like that game, it eventually became a movie tie-in title, to Speed 2. But after that film's failure, it was changed to a more successful property, Die Hard. Only a handful of levels were created and the game eventually became the basis for Die Hard Vendetta, later released on the GameCube and its contemporaries. Thankfully, the original game was preserved and released online with nine playable levels. yippee ki -yay indeed. Number 8. Quick the Thunder Rabbit Fans of the Amiga are probably wondering, hey, I played that game, and yes, Quick the Thunder Rabbit was on the Amiga. However, this version, potentially a sequel, was slated for the Super Nintendo. While not finished, this Quick the Thunder Rabbit game is partially playable, with several finished levels. There's no music or sound, but there are some good sprites and there's indications that the game would have incorporated several different kinds of gameplay. Along with the default 2D platforming, there's a plane shooting level and possibly something in the style of a fighter. It's too bad this Thunder Rabbit never got to strike lightning. Number 7. Batman Revenge of the Joker We've mentioned Sunsoft's Batman games already, and Batman Revenge of the Joker would have been another one had it been released. Well, it was released, at least on the Sega Genesis. This game was a version planned for the Super Nintendo, but it wasn't unseen until it was leaked online recently. While not very long and a bit unpolished, it's still a very playable and entertaining game. Gameplay mostly consists on platforming and shooting enemies with a gun that shoots batarangs. The best revenge is living well, and living well could mean playing Batman Revenge of the Joker, if you like unfinished games. Number 6, Resident Evil 1.5 A beta version of Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil 1.5, was entirely scrapped in 1997, with the developers rebuilding it from the ground up. While 1.5 does contain characters and plot elements that made it into the sequel proper, such as Leon Kennedy and Ada Wong, it also features a beta version of Claire Redfield, named Elza Walker. One point five also has some different enemies and an overall slower pace than Resident Evil Two ended up having. Over half completed when it was abandoned, Resident Evil One point five has since been patched by modders with improvements over the past years, helping make it, if not complete, at least more playable. Number five, GoldenEye 007 Remaster.
A seminal FPS, GoldenEye 007 was a staple of any gaming party or dorm room in the 90s. But as time went on, fans and developers alike lamented that the game hadn't been remastered for a later system with better graphics, and maybe smoother aiming. It was eventually leaked that a remaster had indeed been begun, but it was never released, due to all the complex rights surrounding the game. The remaster was then leaked online for all to see. Microsoft would later announce a new re-release for the game, which does not include features that were in this cancelled remaster. Number 4. Star Fox 2 Speaking of official releases of cancelled games, Star Fox 2 for the Super Nintendo was released decades after it was scrapped on both the SNES Classic and Switch Online. A direct follow-up to the original Star Fox, Star Fox 2 featured several things that went on to feature in Star Fox 64, such as rival team Star Wolf. Flipping here. I'm okay. I see him up ahead. Let's rock and roll! However, it also contains elements that didn't make the cut, including real-time strategy elements and the ability to play as multiple characters. Nintendo may have skipped 62 numbers ahead, but we're glad we got to experience Star Fox 2 at last. Number 3. Silent Hills PT, short for Playable Teaser, was a free psychological horror game for the PlayStation Network. Terrifying and mind-bending, the game blew our minds with a conclusion which revealed it was a teaser for Silent Hills, which was to be a collaboration between Guillermo del Toro and Hideo Kojima, starring Norman Reedus. Unfortunately, Kojima's well-publicized falling out with Konami led to the game's cancellation and PT no longer being available to download. While we'll never know what brilliant Silent Hills might have brought to our lives, PT is still technically playable. That is, if you look hard enough online or buy a PlayStation with the game already installed. Number 2. Dinosaur Planet To my juby, animal girl. My name is Crystal, and I've come for the princess. You seem a long way from home. Crystal. Dinosaur Planet is an adventure game developed by Rare for the Nintendo 64 late in its life cycle. The game was to feature two protagonists, Saber and Crystal, in their adventures to defeat General Scales, a villain on the world full of dinosaurs they live on. And if that sounds familiar, it's because Rare eventually turned the game into Star Fox Adventures, replacing the game with Fox McCloud and shifting the game onto the GameCube instead. <laughs> A late build of the N64 game was leaked online in 2021, and while Fox is still the protagonist, it's still fun to compare what made the transition to the final product. It certainly has more of that classic rare flavor in this version. I am Fox McCloud, Royal Knight of the Lilat system. I've come to take the prince back to his home. Hey, wait! Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Duke Nukem Forever Yes, Duke Nukem Forever wasn't cancelled and was released in 2011. However, that was after it was purchased by Gearbox. It began development under 3D Realms, an unfinished build from 2001 was released in 2022 online, giving fans an idea of what the original version of the game might have been. While it's buggy and large portions are empty, this version of Duke Nukem Forever does show promise. Along with all the usual Duke Nukem humor, there's some surprisingly modern content to be found, like a horror-like escort mission, a hacking minigame, and interactive touchscreens. Good, bad, regardless, it's positively groovy. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.